Chud 327 with my homemade barrel pontoon boat and it's kind of the off season for barrel boats right now so I'm using it as a table workstation I just came back from the hardware store I got some four inch these I got four four inch tees I got some cleaner I got some glue I gotta get you caught up on a project that I'm working on right now I actually saw this online let's put the guy's name right here give him some credit he used a pickle barrel, pickle barrel. I'm using this blue 55 gallon drum I had two of these I got it years ago off Craigslist for five dollars. The brother to it's right here at the front of the pontoon boat. And the only thing I've done so far, I drilled four holes, one, two, three, four, and I ran some four inch pipe through the barrel. Eventually I'm gonna have a hole cut up here that you sit in, and there's gonna be pontoons made out of PVC pipe. Now the PVC pipe, it came from my amphibious go-kart project. I'll leave you a link to that right here. It was fun. And the way I make these holes, I've got an adjustable hole saw. I use this scrap piece as a test, drilled the hole, the pipe fits good and tight, came over here, drilled these four holes, and all of the PVC pipe is going to be glued airtight. Don't know how long yet, probably 8 to 10 feet worth of pipe here, 8 to 10 feet over there, and I'm going to double up, I've got some more PVC that I found in a dumpster. Okay, with my adjustable hole saw, I tested it first on that scrap piece. I drilled two holes on this side, two holes on this side, and they go straight through. This hole was four inches from the edge to the center of the hole. That one was three inches from the edge to the center of the hole. Up next, we'll put our cross pipes right through the center. Now, if you're wondering, my barrel, when I cut these two holes, it's 22 and a half inches wide. The height of my barrel, I guess it's standard, but it's about 35 and a half. So 35 and a half by 22 wide. It is now time to put in the cross sections. I'm going to put some purple primer on, then we'll put some glue on, we'll start sticking it together. The bubble says level and I have a piece of scrap in. I now know how long to make all four arms. So I've got a full piece of green PVC pipe. I'm going to cut it right dead in the center and my pieces for those four arms need to be about ten and a quarter. So I'm going to take ten and a quarter, ten and a quarter, ten and a quarter, ten and a quarter. That leaves my two ends with the caps the same length however long they'll be. So now we've got the four ten and a quarter inch arms. I've got these two pieces that are already capped. One there. One there. I gotta get two pieces to go in between the T's. Two to go on this end. And we'll start gluing it together. Okay, getting everything mocked up, put together, dry fit. I've got everything cut except for the piece that goes here and the piece that goes there. And I still have four more pieces of thin wall PVC that I found in a dumpster. I already got caps on it. Again, from the Amphibious Go-Kart Project. So I gotta figure out what I'm gonna use right here, right there, and break open the glue. So my front two pontoon halves with the 45s have been cut. I'm using these solid green ones as my straight edges. I'll measure from here to here cut this same thing for the other side and then we can start gluing now some assembly required I've got every piece cut it's now time to start gluing before we do that I'm gonna give you a rundown all the dimensions and all the parts that I bought starting with these these are not scheduled 40 they're lightweight they're a little less expensive I've got these are four inch tees there's four of them four inch 45s there's four of those 
I've got two 27 inch PVC that run through the barrel. There are four of these 10 and a quarter, yeah, 10 and a quarter. The two front with the 45s already attached, they're 38 inches long. These center sections, 23 and a quarter, there's two of those. And in the back, 237 inches. And then these have not been cut. I bought those. They are 10 feet long and I cap both ends. I've got two of those and I've got four more that are shorter, depending on how many we need. I'm hoping this will float good enough, just like it is, once we get it together. If you opt for the 45s here, those are three and a half inch pieces of pipe. For the fittings, you'd need four caps. That would be uh, one, two, three, six 45s and four T's. Using recycled stuff, I've got $48 in it. I've got the Bimini top up on the pontoon boat, trying to make myself some shade. You know, hot in January, Florida. And I've got some priming done. I'm getting the fittings done now. And here in a few minutes, we'll be gluing them. Now, if you're saying, why not just go get you a kayak? Why waste your money and time on this barrel boat? If you look in the background, that yellow you see, that is my kayak. $40 off of Craigslist. I've actually got a video where I had to patch a hole on it. And beside the kayak, you can't see it, but I can show you in a second. There is a $30, sorry, a $50 canoe off of Craigslist. It's actually a two-person ocean kayak, and there is a two-person canoe right in the background. So the gluing process has begun, and heavy duty means really big brush. Smear the glue on, push it together, give it like a quarter turn, hold it for a few seconds, done. So I'm now gluing the T's to the bottom of the arms. I'm trying to think of the best way to do this. I've never done it before. Putting this PVC puzzle together. Up next will be the piece that goes between the two arms. So here is the 23 and a quarter inch piece. It's going to tie these two together. My table's not quite big enough. And I still need to prime my tees. Hang on. like that. Up next we're going to glue this wing on. I've got it leaning up against the plywood so those boards don't push through. I don't think they would but just in case. This should be the funnest step yet. Now, I won't be able to twist these they just push straight on. Not too bad. The pipe did try to push through a little bit. Now it's lined back up. And that should be it. That's the back, the other side's the front. Four more glues and we're done. Oh, well, we gotta cut a hole. Now, somebody else suggests putting foam inside of this, but I'm thinking foam is heavier. Why put foam to make it heavier? 
air is lighter than foam, air floats. And if you pressurize it, technically that air would be heavier than this air. I'm gonna leave it just like it is. This is actually my second PVC kayak. I'll leave you a card for the other one. It was a blast. Now, if you're wondering, will I put a boat motor on it? I've got a trolling motor. It would be fun. Got to get it registered to be legal, but we could put it on there for like a test. And the next question is, how heavy is it? Can one person handle it? Not too bad. Here it is sitting flat on the ground out in the wide open, waiting for that hole to be cut. That will be the next step. So I've got my second set of pontoons in place. I got one on the outside, one on the inside. Maybe four zip ties. I can slide the pontoon back and forth, level the boat. And I have laid out, just freehanded the hole. I'm gonna cut that hole out. Time for a better blade. And so this new blade is so long, we need to be careful not to cut through our pipe in there. I'll take this pool noodle, split it open, wrap around this part of it and I've got a seat out of a go-kart that's going to go in there. Just like that. So right after I got this thing glued together, it came some heavy rains. That's just how we test to make sure there's no leaks. So I'm here with a barrel boat. I've got it on the trailer. I've got all the PVC that was on the amphibious go-kart. I've got a life jacket. I've got a paddle. I even found a boat seat that works better than the go-kart seat. It's dirty, but it works better. And it's the matching blue theme. I'm thinking maybe tomorrow go to the creek. I want to try it with just the two outside PVC. Then maybe with four PVC, then maybe with six, maybe with eight. See how many it's going to need. You could almost get a board, screw it in the back, screw it into the front. If you're going to have all eight, screw a board on to keep them level. Something to think about. Let's hope it's not too cold tomorrow. Not too cold, not too cloudy. Does it fit? So I got the youngest girl, she's trying out the fit. It fits her a lot better than it fits me. Do you think you could paddle it? I believe it would work. Getting excited? Me too. So I built my barrel kayak right here in the wintertime and that is frost. I probably won't be taking it out today, but soon, this is Florida. So I just ripped this tube before right down the center. This could be my pontoon brackets. Come with me and I'll show you. So take one of the boards, put it right there, screw it to the barrel, and you can take rope, zip ties, wire, something to hold these in place, 
and they would be adjustable forward and backward. And the other one goes right here on the front. So I'm out here after dark working on the boat. Tomorrow might be the big day. And tonight I'm running some zip ties around that pool noodle, trying to keep it from flying off. Uh, then we need to put the ripped two befores on. So I'm putting on my pontoon leveler bracket. I just ripped down a two before three quarters inch of an inch wide. That's going to screw into that. And then on the inside, there's a two before. The back pontoon leveler bracket is now in place. I'm going to now go to the front. This one goes on the inside. Here is the inside front of the boat. I've got that board holding the other board on. And then here is the front of it. Our pontoon leveler bracket is on, ready for the water tomorrow. We're right here at the creek and I got me a kayak paddle. I've got me a life jacket. We're about to go see how it floats. And I've got my water boots. So it does float. I'm gonna try it with just the two pontoons. See how it goes. Then put more, then put more under it. You're a science teacher at school? Yeah. How'd you know? I see your sign on the back, the lobby sign. Yeah. So here it is, it floats good. I just took it for a test drive. I've still got the four other po uh, PVC pontoons. Don't need them. And as the sun sets on this day and on this video, I hope you enjoyed it. I know I sure did. Don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell, all that good stuff. And thanks for watching.